guys welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for an insane fridge transformation y'all i got some acrylic containers from amazon for such a good price i got an eight pack as you can see here that i'm opening up and then i also got these egg containers and some labels from amazon and we are going to transform my messy messy fridge it's been super messy and unorganized and just not functional since we moved in because I never really stopped to think about it there was so much other things to do but now that I'm a little bit more settled in I'm trying to tackle little projects like this especially because spring cleaning is around the corner and with spring cleaning I love to do organizing as well so we're gonna be doing that here today so stay tuned for that because it is going to be a crazy transformation and really satisfying to watch i always find these type of videos so satisfying and that is what i hope it is for you guys today so whether you're just watching to see a satisfying video and transformation or you need the motivation because your fridge is just as bad as mine either way stay tuned because this is the video for you and first we're just going to start off um cleaning these little bit of dishes that we have because i want to clean all the acrylic containers before we use them because you know we have to be sanitary y'all so I'm just gonna do that and then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit Also, you guys, I just thought I would throw this in there, but Friday's video is going to be a little mini living room makeover. So make sure that your notification bell is on. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. It's going to be so good. I got some new curtains that I've been telling you guys about because I just felt like the other ones were too room darkening. So I got a little more of a sheer material and it's just perfect for spring. I got a new side table, lamp. Um what else did I get oh uh, a new plant because I told you guys I didn't like the other plant that I had um, we're gonna do some decorating y'all I don't want to tell you guys too much but definitely stay tuned for that because that will be Friday's video god willing but yeah y'all now I'm just gonna show you guys my messy messy fridge before we begin so you can see the transformation but you guys know I meal prep every week so I just had that all jammed in there and then I had recently did groceries and I just really needed to do this y'all because I just felt like we were just stuffing things in and when I typically put away grocery or um, my meal prepping, I technically do a good job, but I just felt like labeling it and having everything um, in its own place just made it better for both me and my husband because you know how husbands are. <laughs> and if you're married, you know what I'm talking about, but they just don't do well with putting away groceries or putting away leftovers my husband will like if i am putting away leftovers from the night before i'll put it in tupperware and put it in the fridge neatly in its own place my husband will take the entire pot and put it in the fridge and call that putting away food but yeah just to avoid all of that and if he's putting away grocery because i'm with a baby or something he knows exactly where everything goes because i'm labeling everything so let's hope that this system that I've created is gonna work I'll definitely let you guys know long term but now I'm just emptying the entire fridge and we're gonna clean it and I'm gonna tell you guys right now throughout the entire video um, baby girl is all up in the fridge and all up with me so you guys already know all my videos she's always popping up so just ignore that but yeah we're just gonna take everything out of the fridge and then clean it and then we're gonna begin you guys like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it
you guys so now that the fridge is all clean we're gonna begin and here I'm just attempting to show you guys the little um, plan that I made on my phone I like to plan things like this out. I also did one for my upcoming pantry makeover because I just want to make it as functional as I can for my specific family and what specifically we have in the fridge I don't want to just go off of like a Pinterest photo because some Pinterest photos um, don't apply to me because I don't get all the things that they have in their fridge organization so I just did one specific to what I needed and basically I came up with I have four shelves in my um in my fridge so I did a row of veggies a row of fruit and then a row of eggs and yogurt and then the very top row is gonna be all my drinks and then you'll see the rest later on but I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this whole organization and i'll just pop in when necessary but other than that you guys will get the point So I did mention this in the beginning of the video, but in case you missed it, all of this is from Amazon, the egg container, um, the eight pack of the acrylic containers and the labels as well. I do not have a Cricut. So these were actually the only fridge labels I found on Amazon. But anyways, everything will be linked below. They were super inexpensive because I'm always searching Amazon for the most least expensive items. And then I also, of course, read reviews. Miss you. Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why 
defying gravity, pulling you in closer to me. I first you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it all right, you guys, now for the very top shelf. My plan was to do Lazy Susans, and these are actually from the Target Dollar Spot with all their organizational stuff that they had out um, this month. So I got two of them because for some reason I thought that two would fit on the top shelf, but I ended up only using one of them. And this just really helps because when you have all of your milks like stacked behind each other it just always gets jumbled up so being able to just turn a lazy susan and get the milk or the creamer that you need is just so much more easier but you're off my radar now i'm like an outcast from pillar to post there's no denial i'm chasing ghosts i'm like an outcast from pillar to post hitting you up but i'm stuck on hold is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling your the door over here I just use it for butter which I already had my butter um, in that little I don't even know what that's called that little pocket with the acry acrylic fold over I don't know but um, yeah I always keep like my butter cream cheese and stuff there so I'm just putting my butter there and then on the other kind of shelves I'm leaving my condiments and then I'm reserving two shelves for just drinks I keep on looking for you. For this, I separated it by like regular condiments like barbecue sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, and then on the other one, I just put more of like my cooking stuff like my marinades, my sofrito, um, just more of like cooking stuff and I labeled it sauces just because the labels that I got um, they only had the labels for condiments and sauces and they didn't have anything that kind of fit what I put on the second shelf if I had a Cricut I would have made more personalized labels but I didn't so I worked with what I had So for the bottom drawers, I just use the first one for my deli meats, um, my cold cuts, my cheeses, um, things like that, um, my sausage meat, all of that stuff. And then the second one, I reserved an entire drawer for just my meal prepping because again, I meal prep every single week and sometimes I have leftovers too if I cook during the week. So I just wanted an entire drawer to just fit all that in so it's not jumbled up with the rest of my stuff. And the very last um, drawer, I just put my potatoes and onions, which I know some people keep them outside in the pantry as Stuff, but I like to keep them in the fridge because they just stay fresher longer for me that way. Say, what can I do to get you to fall? For someone like me, I'd say I'm single and I'm pretty cold. Don't storm in the storm. Not me, then.
that he deserves you Go with someone like me show you how everything turned out but of course mini me is over here playing with everything so i'm like in love for some reason i thought two lazy susans would fit on the top shelf i don't know why i thought that um my fridge was that big but here i just have like creamers and all of our milks then i have um the baby's juices i got her orange juice and her apple juice over there i have all of her yogurt and the adult yogurt in the back if you guys hear her banging, just ignore it. This entire video I filmed with like her in the fridge. Um, I have the eggs here. I got the 24 count um, because I always buy like a 30 pack of eggs. I have the, t the fruit here and I just put one label in the middle. I have tomatoes, grapes, strawberries, and blueberries back there. Then I have all the veggies here, cilantro, um, green onion, and celery and then i have um lettuce and cucumber here and avocados and my peppers over there um you guys seen i have all my deli meats and cheeses in here then i have all my meal prepping in here and then lastly i have the potatoes and the onions in there let me know if you keep your potatoes and onions outside or inside i feel like they stay fresher longer that's my fridge beeping <laughs> but yeah you guys this is it this feels so much better i'll let you guys know if this system actually works out for me but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye it's silent now we don't say a word we're just looking at each other